Hello, everybody, and welcome to the new series. I call it new series because I don't have a title yet. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure one out uh, before I upload these videos. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take this application that I built uh, a little while ago and uh, recently kind of spiced up, and we're going to build it together. And the reason I'm doing this is because since the last set of videos I've put out, I've had a lot of requests for more Ajax related topics. And I didn't, uh, I brought us into that a little bit, but I didn't really go too incredibly far in the last series. Now this application I built uses a, a pretty good amount of Ajax for as, for as simple as it is, uh, the core of it's really driven by Ajax. So what we've got here is a simple time tracker application, which if you've been paying attention on Facebook lately, I've posted the link to the repository on GitHub for this. So the application is done. Um, well, done in the sense that it works. Uh, you know, there's always tweaking and uh, debugging that can go on later, but it is available to download. So what we're going to do is we're going to look through the file structure, which is very simple compared to what we've done in the past. And once we've taken a look at everything and I explain the, the files a bit, we're going to then build it from scratch. So really quick, let's take a look at the actual application, which you can find by clicking on this uh, demo link here. And this is a live demo, so... Um, some of these tasks I did not put in. Uh, so let's, let's hope nothing inappropriate shows up here. But the, uh, the basis of this is very simple. I've done projects in the past, uh, worked for clients, and tracking time can sometimes just be cumbersome. Whether there's no project management system to use at all, or the one you are using is not really geared towards development, you really need something simple. And what I was doing when I decided to make this was uh, I had resorted to just using a piece of paper and pencil which really at its core is pretty simple and nice, but there's no real good way to actually see a visual representation of how much time you have been spending on something uh, in real time and things like that. Um, plus it's kind of nice to have this portable. Um, you can either keep this on your local machine or you could put it up on a remote server and you could access it anywhere there's internet. So that's pretty handy. But essentially I just needed something quick to mark what tasks I was working on how much time I spend on them, and then clean the slate for the next project or day or whatever. So let's walk through the functionality really quick. You'll see we already have some tasks in here. Let's go ahead and put a new task in. So it's as simple as typing this in, hitting enter. You'll see the task name, the time I put it in, uh, nothing here for the end because we haven't stopped the timer yet, and you'll see an hour and minute counter which if I drag this video on long enough, you'll see this start to, to go up. And we have the ability to stop it or clear it. So say I've already done what I needed to do with these tasks that I've tracked and I wanna check some of these off. So I can hit the X and it clears them out. So there's that. So that's pretty simple. The other thing I can do is when I'm done with the task, which I guess technically I'm not done with uh, making the first video, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop anyways. So I hit stop and stops the timer over here. So this is pretty straightforward. What you'll also see up here in the top right is a tally of everything in the list here. So say you're only budgeted to work two hours on a project today. You can keep track of that up here. So either you might see that you've got 15 more minutes before you hit your mark, or you've gone over and it's time to stop. Now this only tracks what we'll call the active tasks. If for some reason you accidentally cleared one of these off or you realized you need to put one back in, you can go over here to what's called restore mode and these are all the inactive tasks. Now you can see a lot of the ones that people put in uh, in the demo here. I can come over here and I can restore the item to my list. See it leaves this list and I go back over to log mode and it's back in here. And that's that. That's what we're gonna build. But if you notice, none of this requires me refreshing the uh, page, flipping from restore to log mode. It's all clean. And that's all Ajax doing its thing, even when we put a new task in. No refresh, it just automatically adds it to the table. So in the next video, we're gonna hop over here to GitHub and we're gonna take a look at the files in, involved in this.